Greg, what, uh, what happened to Huso? Did he get hurt on that uh, that third goal, or was it before? It was before that, his lower body. And did Wallman leave at, at the same time? Yes, upper body. Have you ever been involved in a game like this? Well, what do you mean by that in a game like that? Well, you, you ended with about 11 players. Uh, you had a oh, guy I mean, we were shorthanded, that's for sure. But, you know, guys battled. I'm proud of them. They, they worked and came through. Yeah, Craig, what can, what can you say? I mean, you're already playing a guy short. You've got six guys out of the lineup already. You lose two more tonight and to come away with uh, two points. What does that say well, about yeah. the perseverance? Yeah, well, I think everybody, you know, I know the first period wasn't, it, like we wanted it, but uh, they recovered and uh, th guys did a great job in the second and third period. Our special teams are really good tonight. Um, you know, and that's a big part of it all. Uh, but, you know, the guys worked and competed and did all, you know, they played the second and third period like, you know, we want to play. You know, on our toes, attacking and being competitive and doing a lot of good things. Craig, were you trying to get Huso off before that side made mention? To well, I to called, I, I did, because I thought he looked uh, injured, but uh, he ended up staying in there. Um, so I'll just talk to him about it. Craig, how do you explain the first period? Well, it's, you know, they we take three penalties. I mean, they come at you hard. They're going to put you on your heels. You know, um, I think we just... We just didn't handle it, you know, the way we needed to handle it. Um, you know, we got to learn from it. That's all. I can't really. Greg, it took you. It. Oh, sorry. sorry. Sorry about that. Um, it, did it take that first shift? It seemed like that shift right before the Tarasenko goal. Uh, you got some sustained zone time out of that. Did did that just kind of get things going there a little bit? Yeah, it did. But I, th you know, I thought, you know, right from the start of it, the second period. Well, you know, we were we were more engaged in the game. Do you say anything to Lindgren, or do you just say go, go in there? Just go in there. I mean, there's nothing to say. How about the play by Buchnevich to, you know, have a good read on that and, and see that he's got a lane there to make a play? On the overtime goal? Yes. Yeah. No, it was a great read by him. Um, you know, that wraparound, I mean, it's a good play. He's, he's, a, he's a smart player. How do you think Lindgren handled his, uh, his stint there? He looked confident to me coming out and playing pucks. You know, I don't, I don't think it phased him that much. He's a pretty confident guy as far as I know with uh, his mannerisms and seeing him around, you know, and stuff like that in practice. He's a very hard worker in practice. Very well-liked guy in our hockey club. Um, so he went in and did a good job. Greg, when you have so many guys down like this, is it just do you, do you need your veterans to step up in this situation and and carry the load? Well, they do. Yes, for sure. Uh, leadership is a big thing, and um, I thought that um, you know, our leaders did a great job tonight, playing, competing, keeping things together out there. You know, talking. Um, you know, all of them. Another game where you got a bunch of goals at the net. That's where you score. You know, it, uh, you get looks, you get clean looks in games um, from distance, but it's not easy to score from distance. Um, goalies are too good, so it's about getting to the net, screening goalies, traffic, all, all that stuff. How important was it to get uh, goals from Tarasenko and Chen, two guys who, who've been struggling offensively? Yeah, lately. very important. I think uh, Vladdy, um, it was a real important goal for him. Um, I thought he I thought he really played well in the second and third. And, you know, it's nice to get Chen or get one at the net on the power play. That's where he's good and he scores his goals. So it was good to see him get one too. Greg, I realize you wake up shorthanded, even more shorthanded tomorrow, but what can an effort like this do for you? I mean, do you expect to get a jolt out of the way you played tonight? 
Well, they should be they should be happy with themselves, but at the same time, you, you know, you got to wake up tomorrow and it's a new day and you got to move on from it and and get ready for Detroit. That's what you got to do. Uh, that's the most important thing here is um, you know, what we do next. So, you know, we got to bring that effort that we had in the second and third and and um, you know, how we played the game with the intensity and the competitiveness. And you got to take that to the next game against Detroit. You can't just live off this game. It's great. We, <clears throat> they should be proud of themselves, how they competed out there and won a hockey game shorthanded like that. But at the same time, you got to move on from it. Okay. Thanks. When do you start? Th- What's that? When do you start thinking about what you're going to do with the roster tomorrow? Right now. 